McCaffrey at number two. Tua and Josh tied at three. And then there's Brock Purdy. Still in there, huh? I mean, <laughs> I guess so. Here's the tail of the tape between Tua and Lamar. I had Josh throw some green checks on there. So we can see that there's a lot of green checks on Tua's side. And if he won this game, the record would just be green checks for everybody because they'd both be 12 and 4. So, Drew, can Tua steal the MVP from Lamar Jackson? He can um, because this is, as I said yesterday, it's a strange year, right? Like, usually at this point in the season, it's down to one guy, maybe two, the right? Definitive favorite. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Yep. And this year, there aren't, I mean, Lamar right now is a definitive favorite, but we've seen it mm-hmm. switch every week. And if he were to have his, his argument, is wins and the impact he's having on the game and the record of the team. It's not like his stats aren't aren't great. They just aren't. You know, they're they're not great. There are a lot of quarterbacks with better numbers. Even his running stats as far as touchdowns is not huge. So if they were to lose, say, the next two games and now they've got five losses, so the record isn't phenomenal. His numbers aren't phenomenal. That would open it up. Now for Tua – He would have to be great in these last few games and great kind of maybe without Tyreek being (laughs) being awesome on the other end, like touchdown passes to a lot of the other players. Because Tua, to me right now, his problem, and we talked about the comparisons of him and Purdy. My biggest problem with Tua and why I kind of started lowering him in the race early in the season was his best games have come against bad teams. Like, I mean, he hasn't had a three-touchdown game as far as passing in the last seven games. All right, so that there's that. But then Denver, he threw four touchdowns when they were a mess yeah. defensively. The Chargers, he had three touchdowns against. They're horrible defensively. The Carolina, the worst team in the league, three touchdowns. And then New England, the worst team in the AFC. I know they got a good defense, but that was a three-touchdown game. Yeah, so, I, 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 that, but I'm just saying, like, against the great. good teams, I mean, he hasn't put up big numbers, even in wins. It's been like one touchdown or two touchdowns max. So, I, I think he'd have to – if he – if Lamar stru- struggles, I think it opens it up more for McCaffrey. I don't uh, know if Purdy gets back in it or maybe Josh Allen, but I think it opens it up for mm. others as well as Tua. No, Tua can't steal the MVP. And can we put the full screen back up with the MVP guys up there really quick? With the, the, the odds or the head odds, The MVP odds. Yeah. Because you see the two guys in the 49er uniform? Well, there can be two guys in a Dolphin uniform as well. Like Tyreek, it, it should be up there. If, if if Lamar were to struggle. Correct. So for me, that's why Tua can't get it done. Because if you talk about Tua having success, well, it's going to come at the expense of Tyreek being a part of that success. When we look at what Lamar Jackson has done, he's done it without his number one target in Mark Andrews. He's done it without none of his number one guys in the backfield. It's been all him. It, it, you, you, we've all. So understood. is it locked up? Are you saying I, it's He's got locked it, up for oh, me? Really? It is, and I, I get it. It's been a very odd year, but the one constant has been Lamar Jackson has steadily been able to check off boxes. You put the check marks up against all those, the all stats. those numbers in the stats. However, you got one guy that has an All Pro that we were debating. Okay. He could potentially be the MVP of the National Football League as sure. well. That's the other guy does two. not have another guy on his roster that we would say right. is that that fitting. So for me, this is all about Lamar Jackson. He's not going to throw 40 times a game and throw four interceptions. It's not what he does. He's not going to have that low that all the other quarterbacks has had. This is right. Lamar's to lose. So I, here's what I'm worried about, Wild. And I know you – I think you just – fervently disagree with the way my brain works on this. I think it's something that, if this happens, it would bother me, and I think you probably feel like that's exactly how it should go. I do not want the NFL MVP race to become like the heavyweight title of the world, where, well, he beat him, so now it's his. I agree. And over the course of the year, that kind of feels like it's been happening. Just, but and that's so how Lamar the, got the, 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 No, hold, may I, just for a moment? It felt to me like Jalen, after the, the Eagles beat the Cowboys, mm-hmm. even though Dak, I thought, thoroughly outplayed Jalen in that mm-hmm. game, that's when Jalen was the favorite. And nobody, I think, was looking like Jalen's been the best player in the league, but he had just beaten Dak. Mm-hmm. And then Purdy beat Jalen. 
And then he was the huge favorite. And then Dak, at some point, without beating Purdy, you know, had those monster games. He got there. And then all of a sudden, Lamar overtook it. And now we're talking about could two overtake it. And by the way, if that happens, the debate next week is going to be can Josh Allen steal yeah. it? Like, it, and it will yeah. be that. In my opinion, and I think, Brew, you might agree with me this, save one name. I think the four guys this year who have combined team success – unquestionably best guy on their offense, great numbers or great eye test or all of the above, are Lamar, Christian McCaffrey, Tyree Kill, and Dak Prescott. Dak, because right now they're the five seed, is kind of eliminated from the contention. If Philly loses and Dallas wins their next two and Dallas all of a sudden is the two, I think Dak deserves a, a strong look. I think Christian McCaffrey right now deserves it. But if it has to be a quarterback, it's Lamar. I would, I personally would have a big problem with Tua winning the award when I think all of us agree he's not the best guy on his side of the ball on his own team. The same reason that I'm just trying to be fair here, I said I was going to have a huge problem with Brock Purdy winning it. Okay. So if, that, if Tua, can I go real quick, yeah, bro? Yeah. If Tua outplays Lamar, mm -hmm. and I know I understand your head-to-head -head argument, but the Ravens also have the best total defense. So Tua would have to put up numbers, not on Lamar, on that great Ravens defense that we just saw fluster Brock Purdy. And then he would have the same record, but, be, but have a better completion percentage, more total yards than Lamar, more total touchdowns, and a better passer rating. Yeah. With the caveat that I understand Lamar, sometimes the Ravens get up so big and then Lamar ships it into second gear and they just decide to run. So maybe that depresses his numbers a bit. I, I don't see how you what the argument is for what the empirical argument well, for not, Lamar is other than, ah, you know what? Can't qualify no, the things yeah, he but, does so out there. Not, so oh, Mark Andrews. Like, the, okay. I, I don't think there is. I don't think league MVP, there is an empirical argument. I think there are certain years it's what undeniable. Would be, that's what I'm saying. Well, the, the, I, the wins the, and no, the fact that the, the, the win, lack of the support the same amount of wins. No, lack of the offense. I think the. Cap. I think the. Again, I don't think this is empirical, but I think the argument for Lamar would be: Could you drop any other player on the Ravens team? And have the offense function as well as it does. Know, I'm, talking about, the, I'm talking about real world, man. The, I'm talking about the real what, world. Wilds. I'm talking about, guys, you can't what? be like, well, what if Wilds. we got into what a time if, machine? Hold on. What if we drafted hold, the entire hold, league over? Hold man, on. Yeah, I, if I'm two as lawyer, I'm like, no, man, be in the real world. Tell me why my guy is not the MVP. Because he's not the MVP so, of his own so team. I think what Nick would be saying, I, I, I think, Nick, it would be better, like like you said, there's no Mark Andrews. There's no great wide receiver there's at this top point. Three running Their running backs, backs have been hurt. Like that, and they're still where they are. But he's going to have trouble with the numbers. I, look, I agree with you that you don't want it changing game to game just because yes. we beat you when we're really not even facing each other, right? Correct. I mean, as quarterbacks. I, correct. But I just think that's for this year because no it's one so – weird has distanced himself. I, I don't think that's going to be the case going forward. See, I, just really quick. I, if, if Tua were to have a great game, do we all agree Tyreek Hill would be a part of why, well, the reason played, why? I tell you what helped Tua the more than anything game. was the Jets game. The Jets game, game because when they, they put played up 30 great. That without Tyreek. Like, that, that helped him. That more. is true. But in general, I agree that Tyreek can have a massive impact on a game you know, he could have. He could be the Even most important. Even if he doesn't have many numbers. Yes, without numbers, because of how he skews coverage is yeah. all of it. And like, and I just, like I said, Wilds, I knew what I was going to say was going to bother you. We just, and I don't mean that in a bad way. No, we know. just view uh, football very differently as far as if, if the team wins. Does, do we have to assign the credit to the quarterback? And I don't think Lamar's bit, best argument is the team's record. I think Lamar's best argument is the games are televised. And you watch them, and you say, I mean, that guy I know, but that's is, not... is, has more impact on what his team does no question, the same man. way. Guys, there is I... a question. There's no, you have no proof. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.